But I've always wanted to know. And I'm sure that there's a story out there on how you got the nickname Rooster. Well, I'm, I'm still sort of trying to figure that out. Uh, a crew chief, uh, Richard Broom, gave it to me years ago. And and I think the, it really came about where some racetrack somewhere. And he, he was he kept pushing me and pushing me, trying to get me get me riled up, get my temper going. He said, you drive better when you got that temper going. You get up on the wheel better. So he said, you're just like a little Bantam rooster. He said, you're not a big guy, but you get you all fired up. I'll get you hot and get fired up. Then, then you really go out there and fight these guys. And uh, so he used to always work, try to get me, try to get my, get me to lose my temper. He thought I drove better. I don't know. And and you, you mentioned fight. That's when Ricky Rudd went to the top of my book. When you shipped Kevin Harvick to Richmond and he tries to, he got up in there with that yap yap mouth, trying to <laughs> trying to do something, and you were having none of it. Now, granted, it was spread up. We've had a couple weeks ago. We talked about the fight and, and the, the crew crews getting in there and breaking it up. Were Were you about to go throw some hands at Kevin Harvick or what? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I don't know. I you know, when you hit that trigger, everybody's got a trigger, and that trigger had been hit. The only thing that kept me in the car that day. It kept me in the car that day was uh, was Pat Trice, and he was standing at the door, you know, right? Wouldn't let he's a big guy himself, wouldn't let me get out. Uh, probably probably a good thing, you know. He kept me pinned up in there, but uh, you know, I was. Uh, it it could have gotten ugly, and the probably best thing that happened is that, that he did keep me pinned up in the car. I don't know what would have happened, but it would have been. It probably wouldn't have been pretty. Been two guys wrestling around on the ground somewhere, probably. But uh, on live you know, television. I, yeah, it probably made for good television, of course. Yeah. Uh, I, I had more of my fair shares of, of fines uh, that came. I remember getting fines back in the day uh, running North Wilkesboro, and that was before they had email or uh, computer stuff. I'd, <clears throat> I'd get a get a uh, email. I mean, I'd get a, a fax at that time, $10,000 contract detrimental to the sport of auto racing, you know, signed by Bill France. And I had more than a few of those. Uh, and a lot, of them, a lot of them I didn't feel like I rightfully deserved, and a couple of them I probably did. Yeah. Well – I mean, I appreciate the time, but before you go, every guest we have on here, we do a little game of would you rather. So A or B answers. First question, would you rather fight one Kevin Harvick-sized rooster or 100 rooster-sized Kevin Harvicks? Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'd fight him just the size he is now. That's one of the biggest regrets I got. Uh, I don't know. He, you know I, he's a great driver. Let me just leave it at that. <laughs> Uh, lo- love it. Love it. All right. So if you had to pick one race to come back to, if you had, it, would you rather come back to a Bristol asphalt track, Bristol concrete track, or Bristol dirt track? Which one you pick? You know, I never did it.